5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fine. Mm -hmm. Good evening, guys. I've lost my mucus plug. This morning we are starting to count and taking note of all the contractions I have. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. We are about to embark on an exciting journey that will change our lives forever. We are going to be parents soon. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. It's like a lower pain, very similar to a period pain. And it started last night, 2 a.m. During the day, they were intense, but not so regular. And now, since 40 minutes, That's we are uh, taking eight, note. 8 p.m. or yeah, 15 yeah. to 8. So they are getting pretty intense. They are about one minute every four minutes. Yes, from uh, three to almost five minutes each one. As you can see here, I'm taking notes uh, the, what time, uh, yeah. how long uh, the contraction was, the time it ends, uh, and the gap between one contraction and the other one. The doctor, our doula, the hospital, the midwife told us if we can wait longer at home, it would be better because you know you are in your environment and then when your contractions are getting closer and closer after two hours it's time to call the, the, the hospital and check what is going on it's painful but i'm trying to stay positive i'm trying to focus breathe and doing some exercise during the the peak like say like this of the pain and in the meantime we're trying to eat a dinner we'll take a shower then so we're ready to go in case we have to leave yeah because the loss of the mucus plug is not is a sign of pre-labor, but doesn't mean that it will, will start straight away. It could be two hours after, or it could be one week, ten days after, but it's a sign. It's funny because uh, when I used to race with motorcycles, uh, <laughs> Daddy Claudio used to come and use uh, this AIM app on the phone uh, to uh, measure the laps, uh, the timing that I used to uh, take uh, to do a lap of the racing track. Good memories uh, with my daddy Claudio, but now I'm so excited because uh, <laughs> like I know she's in pain, but at the same time I'm trying to keep her laughing and smiling uh, and uh, this is so exciting. Okay. Vado? <laughs> sì. 20-35 Usually uh, it starts uh, and uh, when it reaches 30 seconds it's at the top of the intense pain and from the 30 seconds to one minute uh, it starts uh, to um, decrease the pain so now we have about uh, 15 seconds left uh, of yeah. pain but the doula told me that as long as I can talk and walk with Luca and in general, this is not the, the top of the pain. So this is just the beginning. I know this is just the beginning, but we are so excited. We will try to take a, a nice shower to see if uh, yeah. she can relax a little bit more. Also because we don't know how long she will need to stay in labor at the hospital, so it's nice to go there, nice and clean. It's possible that everything stops at some point. Yes, and if that happens, uh, probably we will have to wake up during the night. Uh, probably Sarah will be already <laughs> up uh, and I will be kind of sleeping and then uh, waking up. Uh, I don't know, but it is what it is. I'm excited, I'm happy. You're strong. Yes. <laughs> See you later, guys. See you later. 
Sì, buonasera Greta, sono Sara Bertagnolli. Dalle due di dell'altra notte di ieri praticamente che ho mm -hmm. delle fitte tipo contrazioni. Un bel bagno caldo sarebbe la cosa migliore se avete la vacca. Sì, sì. Ce l'abbiamo, allora faccio magari un bagno e poi aspetto ancora sì. un po' e poi nel caso se vedo che... Vediamo, eh, il bambino si muove sempre bene. Sì, sì, a dopo, sì, grazie, sì. grazie, a dopo. A dopo. Ok, she told me basically that we have to check still a little bit, to take a hot bath uh, or to take a hot shower and let's see what the contractions are doing. Still wait a little bit more. Sara is trying to relax in the hot tub a little bit. Oof. Beautiful people, we are leaving, we have some bags over here and uh, we are going to the hospital. I call again the hospital and they say if you are not comfortable to stay at home, you can come here and we will check. But you seem pretty uh, peaceful from your voice and I say yeah, I'm trying to breathe. But I'm really in pain right now. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't know. Here we are at the hospital, checking with Sarita. The vitals. Ciao, amore. Baby girl. She's having a contraction. You can see that number raising up. 66, 67. And it lasts for about one minute. Every five minutes, uh, Sara is having a contraction. She's uh, breathing, inhaling, sniffing. <laughs> Some lavender. Some lavender. Essential oil. I, I brought one with us, but they gave me, they have it here to relax because they are saying that the baby is a little bit... Oh. A little bit agitated. <laughs> She's yeah. angry, angry. Why? 45 minutes. So... Midnight and 44. 16th of March. Yeah, almost 24 hours that I'm having this. Sorry, almost 24 hours that I'm experiencing this kind of pain, but now it's getting intense, intense, intense. We are going back home. Sarita, not yet. Not yet. The is still there. Baby girl doesn't want to come out right now. They said to wait a little bit more and they check if I broke the water and it's not. So tomorrow. The construction they said they are pretty regular, but they need to become even more close, like one or two minutes, and then they suggest us to go back home and then to come back later or tomorrow morning. I don't know. But it's okay, we will try to rest and to sleep a little bit. 
Are you hungry? <laughs> Made it back home. Back home, having some lunch at uh, <laughs> almost two in the morning. Two o one. Exactly two o one in the morning. And then we will try to sleep. And then we will see. If tonight I will sleep, it all depends on you, Sara. <laughs> so no pressure. Good morning, beautiful people. We left you last night with uh, many contractions and we are still in the same uh, way. The contractions are even uh, more intense. Sarah has been having them all night and uh, this morning I had to wake up uh, really early to go to the pharmacy to get a swab test for COVID in order to be allowed uh, at the um, hospital with Sara when um, will be time to go there and uh, we already call the hospital and uh, they say if you can stay at home uh, as long as you can because once you are here at the hospital then uh, things uh, will be longer here at the hospital <laughs> you know at home at least you can move from one room to another or you know, you have, uh, you are alone, uh, you can stay in the same bed and uh, try to do what you can. But once you are at the hospital, you are there. So we hope uh, that uh, soon uh, we will be able to deliver baby girl because uh, now it has been uh, over 48 hours and Sarah is really really tired uh, she can't sleep uh, because you know having a strong contractions every three or four minutes uh, five minutes you cannot fall asleep and uh, because it keep her uh, awake yeah so this is the situation unfortunately she's really destroyed We are back to the hospital and uh, almost one day later. It started everything almost two days ago. Now we are checking again and see at what point are we at. And it's getting it's getting painful and I'm getting tired because it's very consistent. Sarah hasn't slept uh, basically for two nights, so it's getting uh, hard and tough on her. Yeah, I'm trying to rest between contractions, so I have three, four minutes to rest, but then uh, I wake up or I just stay, you know, alert because I know that something painful is coming. Come on, baby girl. Okay, so basically, after the checkup. Yeah, we were about to leave because the midwife said, you know, I think this is the best option if you go home because you are the di dilatation is two centimeters. Yeah, it could take uh, dilation. No, it could take hours. And it hours. could take uh, yes. days, uh, maybe two days uh, also. So the moment that that, that Sara get uh, down of this bed and stand up, uh, the waters broke. Yeah, <laughs> so it was <laughs> destiny was destiny to stay here at the hospital. And then the midwife said, you know, we don't have so much room in the hospital because everybody is coming here today. So. Yeah, uh, we thought it was a legend about full moon, <laughs> but uh, actually probably is a thing. So since uh, probably in two days uh, will be full moon, uh, a lot of pregnant women are starting to re ring the bell and coming in. So... Yeah, but our incredible 
Ostetrica, midwife, midwife uh, Lisa uh, found us a room. Yeah, she managed to to reserve the last single room available in the hospital for us because she said, you know, you know how it is with the contractions and during the night if you're together with someone with a newborn already, then it will be difficult. Yeah, we don't know how long uh, it will be single because uh, as soon as other pregnant women come in, uh, they will have to feed in there. So, but it's maximum two people. So I have a contraction. So Sarah is having a contraction. You can keep speaking if you want. So this is where we are at. Ooh. It will take a lot of hours uh, with some contractions, unfortunately. Hopefully not too many. We were just here and we heard a lady next room screaming, screaming, screaming. And after a few screams, uh, we heard uh, the baby yelling. It was so emotional. I was almost crying just hearing that noise and uh, hearing that super emotional. Anyways. It could be a long night. It could be a long video. We will see you later. Yeah. And for now, we will try to stay focused on this moment and enjoy every contraction. <laughs> ciao, ciao. This is destiny. I mean, many of you know that my favorite number and my lucky number is uh, five and Sarah's favorite number and lucky number is 11 and uh, to have the room 11 five it's it's destiny Sarah is in the toilet this is her bed I'm waiting for her now I will have to go and uh, get the bags that I have uh, in the car ready for the hospital because when we came here we weren't sure that we had to stay for the night and for basically the labor okay this is getting real i'm super excited we are trying to get over these contractions that they are getting stronger 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 and uh, she's losing a lot of water mm. and the pain is increasing but Sarah is strong quick update is now 10 to 11 p.m. and uh, Sarah is taking a shower and uh, in the last uh, checkup uh, the dilatation was uh, about four centimeters so this is good it means that uh, Sarah is getting ready for the delivery but uh, she's really 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 tired and uh, yeah but hopefully the shower will wake her a little bit up and uh, give her strength to keep uh, fighting I don't know if fighting is the right word but uh, keep uh, up uh, to the task that uh, she needs to do right now midnight uh, that uh, after a long 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 talk uh, and discussion we decided uh, to 
choose for having a epidura. So now it's almost one in the morning and uh, we will go with that because the labor has been so long and uh, it could be really long. The dilatation is about five centimeters, but uh, you know, it's, it's kind of painful and uh, it will take some time. So, you, Sarah is really, really tired. She needs to sleep and... Uh, I really need to sleep, otherwise I don't have the strength to go ahead. You are doing really great, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Hey baby, how are you feeling? I'm doing great. Everything changed like this. It's magic, eh? Uh, yes. Is epidural. Also, your face, uh, you're a completely different shape. Yeah, I had the support of Mickey and the doctor, so everything was amazing. Like, I was thinking more painful, but it was quite like. Yes! Like, really, no, no issues. I'm really happy that we did this. It's nice to see you not uh, suffering anymore, <laughs> anymore, laughing and awake. You were yeah. almost sleeping before. Love you, baby. Love you too. Hey guys, I just want to say hello. It's 4 a.m. in the morning and I'm doing so, so much better now. I can feel the contractions but they are not painful anymore. Luca is resting here with me. Sorry, there is very low light. And in one hour we will have to check with midwife. Um, just want to say that I feel amazing now. It was over 48 hours with very intense pain and it was not only about the pain i was really really tired and they said that i i have no strength anymore i need to rest but i couldn't with the contractions so let's see how everything will go
Baby girl is here with us, uh, and uh, inside this this bag, uh, there is a uh, in this bag over here there is the the placenta, and we will leave uh, baby girl attached to the placenta for a few hours. Wow, this was so emotional! It's Incredible. unbelievable. I still can't believe it. I need to process. She's beautiful. Madonna, come on, Cynthia. Now it's almost uh, 10 in the morning, so she has been born uh, since uh, almost two hours. Sara is uh, already breastfeeding baby girl and uh, she's still attached to the placenta. It was long but totally worth it guys. Best moment of our lives. Oh, I would like to say, after only two hours, Sara is walking. She's a rock star. Hi, Papa. Puppy in action. Sara went shopping. What did you buy? An amazing, beautiful daughter. Baby girl can sleep over there, or she can also sleep over here during the night. She's always hungry. Yeah, nickname already is the piranha. Here there is another mommy with another baby. Whole family here. It's so beautiful. Yes, mm -hmm. our little turtle. Yeah, she's sleeping. She loves to eat. She could eat all day long. Wow, such a wonderful experience. Yesterday was day zero. It's the day that you give birth. And then starts day number one, two, three, and maybe four. So we are in day number one. This morning I woke up. I went uh, to the pharmacy to get a swab test because you need uh, every 48 hours a new swab test yeah. that you are negative uh, for COVID-19. The first night, last night, I was alone here without Luca. After seven years, <laughs> I slept alone, alone with, with our baby. Oh, shit. And it was, it was like yesterday I was kind of living in a bubble. I still didn't realize that we have her now and everything was so, it's still so new. And it was challenging because I have a little pain in the back and everywhere. We are breastfeeding already and it's amazing this kind, this kind of connection that is the bond yeah i ha had to do a lot of blood tests and so i woke up at five and then at six and then at seven almost every hour but it's amazing <laughs> it's super super cool i'm loving it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, even the 
the birth at itself like it was hard it was tough it was long intense intense but i i enjoyed every part of it oh my child close your eyes and imagine all the stars even the ones that you cannot see Yeah.